Good morning and welcome to Coffee and Contemplation with Reverend Ray. It's such a great opportunity for me to be doing this devotion in the church grounds after such a long, long time. So it's a real great opportunity and moment to just give God thanks. So in our scripture we need today, we're going to take it from the Romans, Romans chapter 1 verse 20. Since the creation of the world, his invisible attributes were clearly seen. Let me tell you a story. It's about a man who uh, was wearing blue jeans, a t-shirt and a baseball cap. He went to the metro station in Washington, D.C. and he pulled out a violin and began to play some classical music. For 43 minutes, he played some of the most finest, elegant pieces of music you've ever heard. And in that 43 minutes, 1,097 people totally ignored him. They walked past, not giving him even a whisper or a glance. He actually felt strange about this because that man, little did they know, was actually Joshua Bell, one of the finest musicians in all the world. And he was playing some of the most elegant pieces of music on a three and a half million dollar violin. And yet, everybody just seemed to ignore him. He actually said himself that it was strange. It was a strange feeling to have people actually ignore him. Well, God knows how it feels to be ignored. God has set before us in nature, creation and the heavens, evidence of himself, evidence of his beauty, of his majesty and power. And yet it's sad to say that so many people do not acknowledge him. And do not give him thanks. And the Bible says in Romans 1, in that same chapter, that we were without excuse. Let me read that to you, Chris. It says that in, in Romans 1, uh, 20, 21, they are without excuse because although they knew God, they did not glorify him as God, nor were they thankful. All we got to do is look at a sunrise or a sunset to see the beauty of God. All we got to do on a dark night is look up to the heavens and see the majesty of the stars and the planets displayed for us. Every day and every night, God has given us evidence of His power and His majesty and His beauty. All we got to do is not only acknowledge Him, but thank God for who He is and what He has given us. Remember that all of creation is an outstretched finger pointing to the glory of God. Amen.